So in terms of short shots, okay, you can look at these two now quite clearly, I'm sure, and see which one is set up for a short shot and which one is set up for a long, well, it was still a short shot in your head, but the setup you had when you got the full width of stance and your setup there, mm. it looks like you're trying to do a full shot. Now, the thing with this left-hand swing is you had a mix of long and short. So in your head, you've got, right, short shot, right? But your setup is saying long shot, okay? Then when you turn the golf club back, you make kind of a fullish shoulder turn, okay? Quite a lot of leg movement there for a shortish shot and go, oh, hang on, I've got a lot of power there now. Now you're trying to take power off with your arms as you sort of come back to the goal ball to try and help it. So you've got a full lower half. So if we just saw that there, he's in a full swing. But the top half now is swinging short. So you've got some long, some short, some long, some short. And just It's just too many kind that. of up and downs and variables that, yeah, you're trying to get right. And you might get them right with the strike is obviously affected. It's not going to work. This one here now, when you go back, your shoulder turn is less because you can't turn as far. So your shoulder turn now and the arm length swing are kind of matching up. We would call that kind of a half swing. And the shoulder turn has probably gone around about half, yeah? Then as you swing through, we can turn through, hit it as hard as we like, okay, for that length of swing. We turn the chest through, the leg movement through, now everything else, it's all matching up. Because every single shot, you want to be turning through the golf ball fairly fully and giving it, in some ways, as full a hit as you can. Sure. But the setup is going to create the distance by being opened out with that foot and just narrower so you can't create as much power and now you think okay i've only created we'll call that 50 yards of power there okay if the arm was up here and the club was up there it'd be sort of 70 or 80 yards okay if we swung the golf club to here should we say mm. it'd be 35 40 mm. yards if we swing it to there okay it'd be 20 yards okay mm -hmm. so your length in which that club goes back will create the distance and then you go, okay, right, just whack it as hard as I can. So never say, oh, I didn't hit it hard enough, mm. I didn't I hit it too hard. You should be hitting it the same every single time, but you just create less energy and power on the way back, helped by the setup being what it is, yeah? The narrower the stance and the more that foot is opened up, the less your abilities are going to be to rotate back. Okay. Yeah? So you kind of set yourself targets in that regard, yeah? Okay. Rather than just being, okay, I'm going to set up as if I'm going to hit a full shot and now try and judge it and guess it, which is... To be honest, what a lot of people do yeah, anyway. This is yeah? the same way. I always use the example of throwing the ball. Yeah, if you look at someone trying to launch it as far as they could, they would look in a position, something like a baseball pitcher, kind of back here, wider mm. stance, weight on the back foot, and they're going to move through. They're going to throw it from here to your golf bag this way. And if you try to be precise, your weight might go forward. You sit down this little fairground trying to chuck it in the bucket. Your weight's going forward, and mm. you kind of mm. just a small movement back. You're not going to swing your arm back here and then try to ooh, stop on it. So. If you can set up correctly and get in a position to play a shot, then you can start in your target. And again, learn your sort of 10 yard, 20, 30, 40 yard swings. Now that might be the club going back to kind of there, mm -hmm. 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe. Those kind of measurements there as you swing the golf club back. Because if you only go back that far and hit it as hard as you can, it will go 10 yards. If you go back 30 yard back swing, hit it as hard as you can, it goes 30 yards, yeah? yeah it's a lot less to judge. And I think going forward, if you can just say, right, I would keep a score of your mini par three scores if you can, even okay. if you just forget your total score, because yeah. the weather this time of year now is a bit miserable anyway. Just yeah. keep a record on the scorecard of how many shots it took you from when you got 50, 60 yards. So, okay. I mean, it's not a good card. But say on the first at Wembrose par five, mm. if you get around the green in three by 10 yards off the green mm. and you chip in two putt, then you got a three. Yeah. If on the second, mm. you miss the green by five yards and you chip it in, you got a hole in one. Yeah. If on the yeah. third, you're 50 yards in the green and you duff it in the bunker, thin into the house behind the green, duff it out all that gun mm -hmm. and take seven. So you go three, one, seven, mm -hmm. add them up, 11 divided by three, you got 3.9 or 3.7. Okay. So you okay. work out I'll your, do that. I'll do that, your average Super. from 50, 60 yards. Anytime you're about to play a shot, you go, well, no, this isn't a full shot, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's when you're mini part. If it's a full pitch, you imagine 100 yards, that's a normal goal shot. Ignore it, just play the ones around the green, okay? okay. Um, and just okay. get a ballpark figure kind yeah, of where you're at. That works for me. Because if we said to you, okay, right, just hit the green, if you hit the green more from 50 yards and two yeah. putt, your scores will come flying down. Because in the first five or six shots you had there, you hit the yeah. green. And it's difficult to have a screen to judge what is 50 yards because you can't eyeball it, okay? But you saw the first one going short and the next one was mm. short. And even though you saw them going short, you weren't able to kind of judge because you were, you were creating too much power and your brain yeah. wouldn't let you hit it hard. Because if you hit it hard, you're just going to clear the green by 70 yards. So yeah. Yeah. You're, you're setting yourself up for the shot. And then just hitting it full. That's great. So there's less judging. Yeah? You're not Thank thinking you. about the shot. Okay, mate. Success. Yeah, very really good. Hard.